about the time I left here for dinner, it started to pour. Did you get caught? I saw you walking down the street. <laughs> you saw me get out a little earlier than you did, just before but the you rain. you had a longer yeah. way to go. Yeah, well, I made it, actually. Oh. Didn't make it back, uh, exactly. No, <laughs> but okay. Uh, weather certainly causing some problems around here. Uh, there was a lot of lightning around, and I'm sure you heard that. In fact, uh, lightning hit a tree in West Denver earlier this evening. The tree located at 2701 West Louisiana came tumbling to the ground after it was struck. The felled tree caused a few problems, namely the blocking of a stop sign at the nearby intersection. A lot of people had excuses there tonight. At last word, Denver police had summoned help to clear the downed tree out of the way. Luckily, no one was hurt, and that is the, the key word there, luckily. Good time of year to remember those lightning safety rules. Don't be the tallest object around. If you see the lightning around, get in the house in a safe place to be. People don't realize this. A car, one of the safest not places. Tree, not, near a tree. not near a tree, especially a lone tree. Stephanie, you get an A and a brownie point for me tonight. All right, let's take a look at our temperature outside right now. 63 degrees. We had a high today of 84 and a low this morning of 56 degrees. The relative humidity right now at this moment, 81 percent. Wind south at 6, a barometer 30.16 and steady at this time. The local radar picture has changed quite a bit. We don't see the big areas, the yellow and red, indicating the heavy thunderstorms. We see a lot of the light activity between Denver and Colorado Springs, still some up in the mountains. Some of that could be ground clutter, though. So things have quieted down real nice, just light rain falling. Let's take a look now at the national radar scene. This was a composite picture of radar echoes throughout the evening hours, and we did have some heavier activity, especially down around Colorado Springs earlier tonight, about 2 inches and 45 minutes in some parts of the city, some heavy rain also in the Texas Panhandle. You can see scattered all around the west. Not much going on in the east today. All this uh, warm, moist air is coming up from the south, and it's ending up in the west. You think of warm, muggy places back here. Well, that's the way it's been for much of the west today. The satellite picture indicating that moisture streaming up out of old Mexico. We do have a high-pressure system keeping the weather quite nice in the east. We have a stationary front up here, meaning no push from the north. It will be staying up to the northwest of us, but you can see the clouds associated with that particular front. And the jet stream in a rather wacky pattern this evening. As you can see, it goes off from the Pacific Northwest back out into the Pacific, then comes into California. This general flow out of the Southwest, and these are where the heaviest core of jet stream winds are, but still the winds even in this area blowing out of the Southwest and quite heavily, and that brings the moisture out of the Southern Pacific right up here into Colorado. Besides the fact, up here at the upper levels, we have a high in this area, and a little bit of a, a clockwise flow around that high also brings up some more moisture tropical moisture. That's what we've had for a long time around here. That moisture tomorrow will again contribute to rain all the way from uh, Arizona, New Mexico, down through Texas. Colorado has a possibility too, but it should be more prevalent in this area. Heavy showers up in uh, Wisconsin. And rain again down in the southeast. You can see the heaviest stuff will be in the Florida Peninsula with sunshine for much of the east coast tomorrow and uh, right into the parts of the Great Plains. High pressure will be taking over and that will make that uh, weather look pretty nice back there. The temperatures tomorrow still a little bit on the hot side in the southern states, of course, 100 in Las Vegas, 104 for Phoenix, 100 in Dallas, Fort Worth, a 90-degree reading. Nice tomorrow in Miami Beach, except for a possibility of some rain showers, especially in the afternoons down there, and 80s and 90s for most of the rest of the country. Here are weather watcher temperatures in the, uh, the big numbers here. The smaller numbers indicate the amount of rain that fell in these areas today. goes anywhere from about a trace on up to four-tenths of an inch from Nine Groves in Lakewood, 11 hundredths of an inch from Ennis Garrity in Golden. 84 was our are high today and only 700 at the airport. And this again, temperatures. Highs for the day in yellow. These in white, a trace from Dean Rupert in Longmont. Carol Johnson in Boulder had a tenth of an inch. And about the heaviest uh, rainfall reported in here tonight was from uh, Vernon and Peggy Durell up in Evergreen. They had 63 hundredths of an inch. Ralph Reiner, of course, always way up there, 10,700 feet, uh, had uh, 0.5, half an inch even up there from Ralph Reiner today. All right, let's take a look at the uh, statewide temperatures, and uh, here's what it looks like. Weather service temperatures in blue from our weather watchers in yellow. 70s in the west slope. They had some rain and some clouds holding out the sun today. 69 in Leadville out there from Mike McNicholas. And a hot 92, our weather watcher Dick Sikorsky and Sterling reporting that. Tomorrow it'll look like this. These are lows tonight, highs tomorrow. Scattered showers in the west again. In the mountains, likely, that's what we're saying about the rain up there tomorrow. So again, we'll be watching the flooding conditions up there, 70s and 80s, uh, scattered showers in the east. And, uh, well, need I say it, scattered showers about everywhere. Here's your Denver forecast. We will have decreasing clouds tonight here, a low of 57 degrees. And as we look ahead into the week for Sunday, first of all, we'll have partly cloudy skies to start out your day. 
I'll say it again. Possibility of afternoon showers, 82 the high, 59 the low for Monday, 83, 83 Tuesday. We're going to stay in the low to mid 80s throughout the week with temperatures mostly in the upper 50s. And yes, a afternoon chance of showers and thunderstorms. One of these days, I'm going to have something new to tell you. It all looks the same across there, you know, the clouds. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. it makes your job easy, doesn't it? Very consistent, isn't it? I'm sick of it. <laughs> Jeff's up next with our weekend sports. We'll bring you up to date on that National League East pennant race. The Cubs lost today. And we'll take you to probably the most grueling race in the country, the 